the, I always, always use the, the two terms, the grant makers and the grant seekers. Or then I would say simplistically the givers, those who have resources and to some extent that's all of us because we do have some capacity. We give to our church, we give to other programs and organizations that are important to us. And we then may have the benefit of resources that are greater than that as we have in mobilizing family foundations and private foundations and community foundations. So, uh, so you have the, the resources, uh, the givers if you please, but the most important players in philanthropy are the doers. Those who are making things happen in the lives of people wherever that uh, mission uh, is serving. And so we need to co collaborate and it's not a difference. The, the, the more important, I think, from my value sense, are, are the doers. The ones who have a vision about something, somehow we ought to be doing a better job with early childhood care. We need to be doing a better job in providing opportunities for senior citizens who just need a little hand up. They don't need to move from their home and their neighborhood into a strange environment of assisted living or whatever, if we can mobilize to just provide some support. So uh, that's where the exciting things really happen. And as you think, even in, in a community of saying, we really want, need to do a, a better job of providing enriching uh, cultural experiences, music or lectures and so forth. Uh, the initiatives need to come from the community, and those are the ones that really make things happen. And so uh, we began to say, how do we get a different engagement with nonprofits uh, and the givers and the doers? And so felt that somehow we need to see where are the common interests, first of all, between those who are providing resources and those who are the seekers of resources. Secondly, where are the collaboration among all of those engaged in nonprofit organizations and institutions? Because in a sense, there's competition between all of those organizations as they seek resources for their particular programs. So we simply decided that let's get together representatives of, of uh, these organizations to talk about areas of common interest and also recognize that there are some areas in which we may in fact be in competition. And so it was tough to think about how in Michigan with the multiple organizations and communities, so we finally identified simply 10 organizations sort of statewide in, in the scope of their activities. Had to be involved throughout the upper peninsula, the lower peninsula, the urban, the rural communities and so forth. Had to be statewide in their perspective. And then we wanted the different concerns in education at various levels, uh, the cultural activities and the arts and the environmental issues and the healthcare issues, all of those. And we finally identified simply 10 organizations uh, statewide, and, and you know, it could have been 50, but I said, we just need to get a few thoughtful leaders to come together. And we ask each of those organizations to have two representatives if they wanted to be involved in them. First, we needed to have the chair of their governing board. Who is the person, the woman, the man who has engaged in that organization, has been engaged enough that they now have the chairmanship of that governing board, board of trustees, whatever the title. So we wanted that kind of citizen involvement. And secondly, we wanted the chief operating officer, the chief executive officer, the professional. Because in most of these organizations, youth serving, recreation, health, and so forth, you have people professionally, expertise, experts in, in those areas, and they have a perspective that they bring to work together with the governing board in carrying out the program. So we ask that each organization have two representatives to, to come together. And so we, we held the initial meeting and talked very candidly about those areas of, of concern. Well, immediately 
things that we need to have, we all have problems with, with recruiting members to be on our governing board and then of training for them and continuing education for people who are engaged in the governing governance role. And we needed similar opportunities for engaging professionals and how do we then have in-service training and then ongoing lifelong learning opportunities for both the volunteers uh, in the governance and the professionals lifelong because expertise, knowledge is continuing to grow and how do we, so those were immediate. Then organizations, particularly the small organizations had concerns about how do we provide benefits for our employees. We only have three on the staff. We have an executive director, an assistant, and a secretary. We have three, but they need health care benefits. They need arrangements for retirement and so forth. And it's difficult for a little organization. A big organization with national stature, you can tie in the local Salvation Army or Boy Scouts with that, but they can't if we're just a little independent group. And so there were a lot of areas they admitted quite frankly, yes, we're, we're competing <laughs> to some extent for the givers, but the donors to the symphony are very often quite a different of prospective givers than those we might in, in, in some environmental issue or senior citizen or the homeless or whatever the issue might be. So that yes, to some extent, we're, but that if we do a job of selling our mission and to the to the right people, uh, it'll all work out well. So there was, was that initial discussion, out of which we set up, I think, about three committees. One to think about how do we move ahead? Uh, how do we structure some kind of an organization? Uh, and then how do we think about sustaining such a statewide group financially itself over time? And those were task force which came initially from those 20 people that came together, but immediately then we began to reach out, they began to reach out to other organizations because here's expertise, here are uh, folks that ought to be engaged in this planning, and resulted then in calling a, a first statewide meeting, which was called the Michigan Nonprofit Forum because we just wanted people to come together because they did have some commonality, obviously, but we didn't know whether or not out of that coming together, uh, there would be agreement that there ought to be an organization. So the Michigan Nonprofit Forum moved forward with then the establishment of a board, uh, identification of a board of trustees and so forth, a staff executive director and then program staff and I think it was uh, three or four or five years that after that structure began to operate, the decision was made to change it from a F Michigan Nonprofit Forum to the Michigan Nonprofit Association. So it was again a collaborative effort, simply our, our initiative was simply to bring people together to see if there was common concern uh, for useful purpose. And I marvel at the response over time, if we think now it's 20 years of MNA, uh, that uh, the variety of things in which they're engaged, the, the uh, tremendous uh, program, that variety of programs in fundraising, in grant writing, in employee benefits, the lists go on uh, of, of activities, uh, just remarkable, uh, and, but one difference that followed in Michigan than in most states, many states have a, in a sense, a nonprofit organization, but the grant makers are not included. Uh, that's separate. We felt that without the doers, the grant makers have no one to work with, and it's a, we're all concerned with exactly doing its private initiatives for the public good. And so the grant makers and grant seekers the clear understanding is that if I come as a representative of a nonprofit organization and you're from a foundation, we don't use that statewide meeting to, 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 to try to seek grants and so forth. We're there for a different purpose in that setting. So no one abuses the privilege of, of meeting together, but uh, recognize the, the benefit, in fact, of 
working collaboratively.